Right, good morning. And uh, I'm about to set off on another travel day. Today I'm off to uh, the local airport, which is Orlando. Um, so you know where I am on the news. Uh, last night was when the news broke for, um, about the tragedy in Vegas. Because um, I was only there a couple of weeks ago myself, so it's very shocking. Right, so my first point of call is to find a post office on the way and deliver this to my sister. Now this is a backup of all the footage so far that I have recorded. So that there's a copy on me, there's a copy in my bag, and there's a third copy separate from me. So whatever happens on my journey, there is a safe copy out there somewhere. So uh, it minimises the chance of losing all the footage that I have recorded thus far. Um, yeah, so I'm off to the airport. Also, I have my SpaceX t-shirt on. <laughs> Three helicopters going over the road up ahead. Okay, so I've just arrived at a US postal branch. Right, so I've just returned the uh, rental vehicle behind me. Forgot to get fuel, but I'll take a hit on that. Now I just need to find the airport terminal, which I think I'm in the wrong one. There's only two. Um, and uh, get through security quickly before my flight in about two and a half hours from now. So here I go again, going back into another, well this is where I was the other day actually, but I just got to find the right terminal because I'm not flying American Airlines today, I'm flying a company called JetBlue. Now they are very similar to Thompson and Thomas Cook in the UK, so I just need to find where I'm going. So we've got the Kennedy Space thing selling their merchandise again, but this time at the airport. And also they've got Orlando Studios, hang on, let me focus. Orlando Studios thing behind me with uh, merchandise for Harry Potter and things. Might check that out if I've got two minutes. I went all the way to a post office and they have them at the airport. That would have been quicker had I known that. <laughs> I think that's it. Must be in Canada. Here. Right, so bag checked in. I should get used to this by now. So I'm just going to go for security, which I think the gates are over this over this way they are. So um, yeah, here we go again. Bit of a line for security. Bit of a line for security. I wasn't very impressed with that. That was almost straight through. I think, I think they should be a lot tougher than they were today. Literally walk through a normal little net and protect the gate, everything in the bag, straight past one guy who, who's just looking. He's probably about 70 himself. I didn't like that. It needs to be far more secure. And the fact that I'm heading into Washington DC as well makes it worse. So, uh, hmm. you know, just push for time. But still, after what happened yesterday, bloody stupid. Right, so I'm at the gate and uh, got about half an hour till they probably start boarding. Just having a little rest on one of the seats. 
Right, so I just had about an hour's uh, sleep on this chair. I'm a little bit better now. Uh, just calling the uh, different passengers to the gate and uh, I'm about to board. down there so now we're going along we're going to turn around and then line up for final approach Right, so we just landed. So we went over the skyscrapers, over the Washington Monument, and came in for a nice neat landing, because this is the city airport, not the international one. So that's where I am. I am in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. And uh, same process again. I need to find myself my rental car, and then my Airbnb. So I'm just coming through the gate, disembarking the plane again. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get me uh, my baggage and uh, I'll be on my way. baggage they're really efficient here in Washington DC all the messing around I did and it was pretty much the last one on the carousel and uh, someone who worked here handed it over to me obviously they don't want un unattended baggage fair enough um, but yeah it was the last one waiting here it only took me 10 minutes to get down from the uh, airport down to here but um, for the first time the luggage beat me to the carousel so the weather isn't anywhere near as humid as Orlando and it's still a very nice warm summer's evening so uh, just finding the shuttle bus and that'll take me to the car rental place but yeah all that humid hot wet heat is gone it's just nice summer heat i could be in spain right now 
apart from Nottingham and Washington DC. So it's a bit sunny right now, but um, bad news, I missed the damn shuttle uh, bus, but should be another one in five, 10 minutes. But the good news, I'm in the right place. Right, so it's space DO3 and it's a great Ford Focus. Just need to find that spot. Thirteen, fourteen, I'm going up, hang on. Twelve. I'm going after DO3. Right, so I found the car and uh, it's a Ford Focus in grey with a New Jersey license plate. So it's basically the newer version of what I already own at home, apart from its right hand drive automatic and in a terrible colour. So it should be quite fun to drive, it'd be worth the upgrade and maybe a bit more comfortable than the previous cars. Not that they weren't comfortable. So driving out into Washington. Welcome to Virginia. Now, oh what's that? look at what that is straight in front of me. First thing it greets me. The Washington Monument in the distance. Whoa, look at that plane. <laughs> Hello, that just came. Barely cleared the fence. I'm just driving around Washington DC as you do. Alright, there's an exit here, no idea where it leads. But um 35, that's what I'm doing. But it might give me an opportunity to pull over because uh, it's got all these landmarks around me. Wow. Right, so as beautiful as some of that scenery was. Um, I've managed to pull over. I'm nine miles from my destination. The sun's gone down, so I'm going to head there before it gets too dark. I'm coming into land over the over the rover. Literally over the Washington Monument. It's the same route I took. In Washington DC, just about to get myself some food from the grocery store. A bit of shopping in a supermarket called Giants, and that's in uh, Washington DC. Let's see if some of the supermarkets can do proper food on the East Coast. They do, they have all the brands I'm used to. Look at the crisp sale, for example, they've got Doritos and they've got Pringles and they've got you know normal cereals that I've heard of. Oh, Pop Tarts. I'm happy. Okay, so I've made it to my Airbnb in Washington and I'm only a few minutes drive from uh, the Washington Monument, the White House, the Capitol Building, all the main sites and attractions. So uh, I'll show you what I bought. So I needed some crisps, so I got some pizza flavoured Pringles, some chocolate Oreo flavoured cookies, a supply of water, a pack of six ciders, but these are like ones I've not had before, blood orange cider. Some cookies and cream pop tarts. Again, I like my sweet stuff, but um, cookies and cream pop tarts, they can follow me around for the next week. So along with ah. crisps and things, I've got myself my uh, turkey sub sandwich, so real food. And I've got myself some orange aid, but over here it's called orange soda. Diet orange soda. So I ask you, who likes orange soda? Okay, enough Keenan and Kel, but the first thing that came to mind when I saw the word orange soda 
we don't use the word soda in the UK. We use orangeade, fizzy, pop, pop maybe, but we don't use the word soda. That's been set up. Today was pretty much a travel day. I started off in Florida near Orlando and I drove into Orlando, flew to Washington DC and pretty much found myself a Airbnb um, in this state. So join me when I get round to making my next vlog on my next instalment of my vlog, youtube.com forward slash Wesley Jago. Thanks for watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just funny.